Well, welcome once again to another sub video. In this one, I'm just going to briefly, I hope briefly, talk about, and of course, as soon as I start talking, the monster, <laughs> the monster, <laughs> monster raving, dark, more eating dog kicks in. Yes, once again we are in Dartmoor for this little video on this. So let's zoom back into that. The topic of this uh, video is pretty straightforward. Basically it's the lavalier um, mic uh, thing. Now, in a video that I've yet to produce, but it's um, in a video that I'm yet to finish editing and upload, I'm wearing this, and I say I won't get this. And then, shortly afterwards, I thought this might be worth getting. Now, in all honesty, personally, for what I'm doing, I will carry on using this most, but given this doesn't weigh anything, uh, it's probably worth carrying with me. I had to get the white one, I would have preferred black, but I had to get the white one, it was on Amazon, and the white one was the cheaper option. Now, I just want to just show you briefly um, how it works, because I also got the, the little the little furry things as well, the little road mini fur lav to go with it. Now to get this off, this warning label off, you need to remove the standard lav head. And how you do that is you grab hold of the bottom part, the plasticky bit, and you basically just, just give it a good pull and then it comes off quite easily. And then just make sure you put it down somewhere safe. And then how you put your fur on, <laughs> you put your fur on. Now, it is a bit of a shame that I had to get white and I got a black, <laughs> a black furry thing, but it doesn't matter. And then obviously your, 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 the male part, <laughs> this was designed for me, wasn't it? <laughs> and then, you know, that basically just slides in there. Hopefully you can see the uh, sliding in. Give it a bit of pressure, push. Give it a good push and in it goes. And then that's your, your black, <laughs> your black furry thing. <laughs> Covering the bit that you've just pushed in. <laughs> And it attaches as simply as that. Spot the deliberate error, we didn't take that off there. So that's a good excuse to oh give it a good ooh, pull it out again. Take this off. Slide it through that. And then we can once again slide that in there. Oh, it's very nice. And there's a nice, nice little plastic sheath in there, which you can feel, which is very protective. And that's your, your furry thing. And then, to be honest, it doesn't look so bad on the white, really. I mean, they do say black and white goes together. Okay, this is, um, I thought maybe it would... Uh, hold a bit more firm than that. Maybe I'm uh, doing it wrong. Maybe you need to uh, <laughs> stroke striking the very thing now. <laughs> yeah, there's no bloody hope, is there? <laughs> Feels quite nice actually. <laughs> Very soothing. <laughs> Right, <clears throat> so that's, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, well, I've tried various different um, options. I'm not quite sure 
if this is exactly correct or not, I must admit, but uh, it looks like you thread the line through there. Okay, well, I'm gonna thank Gary Davis on YouTube. I know no idea who he is, but I was uh, trying to figure this thing out and I, I, <laughs> and I couldn't figure it out, as you could tell. So I did what we all do and looked on YouTube and hopefully when someone looks on YouTube, they'll come across my video rather than, <laughs> rather than Alan's. But a shout out to Alan Davis for, uh, for his video on how to do this. So this is, this is what it looks like when it's, uh, when it's fitted correctly. So to undo it, obviously you just pull the cord out from this little clip here, open the clip up and then it comes out. And then obviously this, the microphone part just undoes. Oop. <laughs> it's a bit springy. They've obviously tightened the uh, thing up. So you just undo the, this little spring thing at the back here. If you just push down on that, you push down on that, and then the microphone slips in through there. So I'll just show you again. <laughs> so you just press down on that, the microphone slips through that, and then it fits in there like that. And then what you do is you just start. Uh, thread the wire underneath, you thread the wire through there, through the catch, so that it's then really just loose inside there, so then it looks like that. And you then just put the wire into that groove through there so that it looks like that. So when you attach it to yourself the only part that you can see is the microphone here and obviously you know this bit of the metal here. All of this bit here is is against you and you can either then just put you know the original cover back on like that or you just take slip it off and you put on your your wind muff and that just slips on like that and in fact when you when your wind wind muff is on it almost covers up everything <laughs> and then obviously just quickly show you the other end and then to attach it, so you, you pull this off. So if you have glued this on, because I know some people have glued these on, you're a bit stuck. But as long as you haven't glued it on, then you take that off and then your microphone cable end just slips in there like that. And then obviously you, you put that in your pocket or somewhere like that. And then the only bit that you have visible is your is your fluffy bit. Once you've got your fluffy bit on like that you then find your shirt or something like that. You find your shirt, you just hope you haven't lost it and then uh, oops it's a fiddly <laughs> fiddly thing. And then this bit here can then, you know, disappear somewhere. And you can do your shirt up. And then you've only got, and of course it's going down it right where the, <laughs> right where the button is. Right. Yeah, something like, something like that. So what we'll do is, just for the fun of it, we'll take off the microphone that's on top. So I'll just turn the recording off. 
I've now taken off the microphone that was on top of the Sony Alpha A6400. <coughs> oh, it's not Alpha A6400, blah, 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 blah. It's the Sony Alpha 6400. So I've taken that off. And you will now have audio from my fluffy thing. <laughs> audio from the fluffy thing. Um, <laughs> and it gets wax on it. <laughs> and then obviously this, you could put in a pocket or something like that, you know, separately. Obviously I'm in my tent here, so I've just got it hanging around. So this is the transmitter. <laughs> Thank you very much, um, Norfolk Yeti. That's exactly right, the transmitter. This is the transmitter. And then that's obviously the receiver over there. So the transmitter, <laughs> the, the sending thing. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> sends it over there. So this is sound from the lavalier microphone with the fluffy thing. And now this is the sound with just the transmitter by itself on. So I don't know whether you can, you know, whether there is any difference or not. There shouldn't be. It's basically the same thing. It's just One's a transmitter directly, and then the other is, is this. Like I say, I think for me, realistically, mostly I will just use the transmitter by itself. Because I just think it's going to be, um, you know, more convenient and easier just to slip this on uh, than anything else. But I think I'll keep this with me because there might be times when, you know, when it might be you know, handy to have that. And I might also just have a look at these sticky things and just see how, how they work and operate. Okay, so what we've got here is we've put one of these right here. I thought I hit the record and I hadn't, which is uh, helpful. So what I did, you haven't missed anything. I took one of these right out off and I stuck it to my chest and then you take your microphone and you stick the microphone to that. And I must admit, that does seem quite a good stick. The only thing is with that though, you're not really gonna know whether it's, you know, for walking and hiking, if it's gonna stay exactly in place. I'd be a little bit worried that, you know, that it would you know, come undone or something. Anyway, we'll see uh, what it sounds like. So, oh, <laughs> I was looking for this. <clears throat> so I'll take that off there. So now obviously when I hold this over here, you know, you can tell that I've removed it because the sound will be less. We pull this off. Take this and this in there and now hopefully what you can hear is the sound under my t-shirt so that's the microphone there so if I rub my t-shirt hopefully you can that's me, uh, <laughs> that was me rubbing my t-shirt just to show it's under there so we'll better check it and then this could again then go in a pocket or something like that and I guess being under there you're not going to get wind noise or anything like that. Now the Rykeout, these things, it does say you can get undercovers and overcovers separately for reducing clothing rustle and wind noise. So I don't know what that is, I'll look into, I'll look into that. Um, but clearly that's another, you know, another option and then you just put this in your pocket and turn it on and off as and when, um, you know, needed. So that's the different ways that you can use this uh, Rode Go microphone. There really isn't any more to say on, on this, I don't think. We tried the sound with this by itself. We tried the sound with this. When it's attached with this, We've now tried the sound, which is what you're hearing now, under my um, T-shirt. So we've tried all the different variances 
of, of this system. And I think what I do is I'll carry all of them with me to a degree because none of them are, are heavy. That's just, you could probably get away with just carrying four of these or something like that would, would, would be plenty for most camping trips. You're already carrying the RoadGo microphone, which is very light. This wire doesn't exactly weigh much and this metal clip. So yes, you're carrying a few extra bits, but they're all quite light. And it might just be that they're useful, um, you know, in different situations. Just see whether this wire thing would work because, um, you know, this is another good option that if the power fails or I just want to save battery power then I can just plug this directly into the GoPro and if I'm hand holding it the wire is long enough you know that I can just do it directly that way so that's um that's quite useful to know so I'm going to uh think about what to film next but I need to go and get some water because we're we're out of water and I will see you again soon. If you found this video helpful, please like the video. It helps the channel and subscribe. I do camping videos, um, some equipment, some equipment videos, not so much, but I do some equipment videos. Uh, in general out and about but if you subscribe have a look through different videos i've done um, we're usually a bit mad here um, most people enjoy that we talk rolex watches sometimes so if you're interested in horology um, you know s subscribe for that as well and yep yeah, that's it thanks for watching see you again soon bye bye